What's going on, Dragon Brawlers? Uh, welcome back to Players Guild. I'm your Guildmaster, Scott Sedman, and I'm joined by Lucky Smith. How are you doing, sir? Hey, my day has just been made. I got myself a Christmas gift this morning, so... Oh, wonderful. Uh, so we're going to get back into it with a more great priest. I'm still weird to say, just... I mean, technically... It's a Grand correct. Priest. Let's go. It's a Grand Priest. It's, it's, it's Grand Priest. We're calling it Grand Priest. You do that with Icarus. I I know you can do this with this. True. True that. True that. Um, so, yeah, let's get straight into it with the Unison. In Ignoring the Super Shenron. Yeah, yeah. We'll come back to Super Shenron at the end. Invitation to <laughs> Battle Grand Priest is a free specified blue Unison with activate main pay free. If your leader card is a Zeno or Grand Priest card, play this card from your hand with free markers on it. So it's free unspecified, which is how you play yep. it in, um, in, the in the red, red deck or yeah. multicolor deck or whatever. It would be so difficult to have free a blue. Free blue. Um, what? Yeah, it would. It would. Uh, and then, so let's get into its actual effects. It's a 20k, so it's it's kind of tough to remove by battle. Uh, so it has an activate battle plus one switch this card to rest mode. Switch up to one blue god in your energy area to active mode. Then choose up to one god card with a combo cost of one in your hand and use it in a combo. This is what huge. What the hell? This is insanely huge. So now you can actually combo. like That makes... So you remember that Whis, which I said that it's not going to be that good because it's just a blocker. This card makes it amazing. Which Whis? The multicolor from yesterday. He's a two cost. That's not the point. Uh, He's a blocker. Oh, so if you they're block attacking, with... if they're attacking a unison, you can block and have the defensive combo step. Oh yes, I'm. I'm. <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. Okay. So not only do you negate and then block with a Weast, then you can also activate the battle with your Great Priest. Um, yeah, and obviously we've seen combo cards that have effects. So Kusu puts a card on the bottom. Uh, Makarita discards a card. The problem is that we haven't seen anything that draws cards for this deck yet. No, not yet. Um, they draw two cards a turn. That's the leader and the turn draw. And then we have a auto minus three. When your opponent plays a battle card, when it costs greater, then the current energy return it to its owner's hand. It's a costly minus three, but you know, if it's something important that you want bounced, then it might be worth it. Uh, no. This card is amazing for any blue deck, and Soul Striker is going to be running it for that skill. Yeah. Uh, so few things. It's not a counter skill. No. It's all. And it doesn't talk. And it doesn't choose. Oh, we don't choose. You're right. Okay. Which means it goes around the deflect and it goes around... Barrier. Barrier. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's just quite costly in the minus three. Like, it's a it's a good cost, but, like, <laughs> it's a lot. It, it is a lot. Uh, It's a shame that uh, this unison needs to switch itself to rest mode to activate that activate battle, but then it would be busted. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> yeah. Um, so really great unison start off the days. Really. But the fact that it immediately can give you back that energy is really interesting. Mm. Mm. Very, very much so. Uh, so then we go on to Cuckatail from uh, Universe Five. If you want to take this one, Loki. Uh, so it's a two-drop gruel. A uh, one cost 10k combo only, so it's a normal combo for this. 16,000 power blocker, so it's a 20k blocker, let's be honest. Uh, if you have one or more multicolor energy when this card is played, your opponent may place one card from their life in the drop area. If they don't, you draw one card and your opponent discards a card. Ooh. What? <laughs> Ooh. What? Ooh, that's fun. What? That's fun. You either crit them, or you draw a card and they discard the card. I like that. I like that a lot. What? It's a very nice card. It's a rare. Yeah, it's very nice. Uh, yeah, do you... It's, it's kind of offering, but not as OP as offering, right? Like... It's more OP than the offering because it forces... More? Yeah, because it forces your opponent to discard. I'd rather have my opponent have less resources than me having more. 
Okay, that's fair. Yeah. Because if they have less resources, means they can do less combo. If I have more resources, they can still do their combo. Mm. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, yeah. So I mean, this guy is insanely scary late in the game. <laughs> like, oh boy. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. I only have uh, free life. Okay, I'm gonna put you into. <laughs> and it works with that critical grand priest we were talking about, right? Yeah, like. Because you attack with the crit, you can further distraction chump on it. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of scary actually. This guy's kind of scary. Yeah, definitely one to watch. And then, wait, and then you can Awomo. keep on bouncing this back to your hand. Awomo, Angel of Universe One. <laughs> he is blue, yellow. Uh, he's also a two drop. This guy is one five. It's important to know he's one ten, so he's actually kind of good to have as your combo in hand as well. Yeah, because uh, he doesn't work when you combo with him. Yeah. God bless. Uh, so this one's an auto one yellow if your leader card is a great priest and you have one or more multicolor energy at the end of a battle in which this card was using a combo play it from your drop area so it's a guardian like we've seen this many times yeah. in the game it is played in active mode which is worth noting and then activate main switch this card to rest mode to draw a card yeah which i guess it's all right it essentially introduces the target that needs to be removed. Because mm -hmm. this keeps on drawing you additional card every turn. And then if they attack this, you can use either your leader skill or your... Uh, oh, unison that we were just talking about to combo out. Yeah, yeah. And again, it's 16,000 powers in that awkward 20k defensive spot, essentially. Yeah. Uh interesting interesting card um <clears throat> yeah I, i'm i'm excited to i'm really excited to start brewing this deck and seeing where we can go with yeah it. uh conic angel of universe four uh he is a two drops uh he also has uh offering fudge okay so he's a 210 uh it, this it's is definitely a critical dot deck isn't it? I, I feel like, yeah, you're, you're not attacking unless you're putting <clears throat> critical pressure on, and then you're just denying, denying, denying your opponent. Yeah, and offering is your draw engine, right? Yeah. Uh, so, And we also have the, from Divine Multiverse, there is the... The 2 drop, drop 20k. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, 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 the mousy god. The mousy god. Uh, also, yeah. once, one red, if you have one or more... Which is, I think, the same... Uh, it's the same angel as this one. Yeah. Uh, so... Uh, Awama and Conic are kind of the same. Um, <clears throat> yeah, kind of. Uh, this one costs red, the other one costs yellow yes. to be played. Uh, it's a good... <clears throat> oh, God. It's a good payoff uh, to using your leader skill, right? Or mm -hmm. the unison skill, because you combo without paying the cost, and then you can just pay the usual one cost for them uh, yeah. to play them. Yeah, well, this one you have to use your leader skill for, but because uh, it's a two cost ten. Um, oh yeah, because grand, uh, grand yeah, yeah, the, the ones, yeah. If you say grand priest, we still don't clarify which one we mean, because both leader and unison are grand true, priest. True. True. Uh, but yeah, still like dropping this for free. Well, for one red, like without any commitment. Yeah. Um, but also. It does force you into you kind of need to use your leader skill to get the max value out of this card. Yeah. This card is not that good without your leader. Yeah. And then we have... Whoa. Uh, Campari. Uh, Universe 3. He is this? He's not skillless. No, he's not skillless because multicolor cards can't be skillless. Uh, he's energy exhaust. Uh, he's just a 110, so I guess he's in the deck to just be a free 10k combo. He's also 25k base power. Yeah, so 2 drop 25k. Which, yeah, just multicolor, etc. But he doesn't feel... He feels like he's a very good energy. <clears throat> yeah. But I can also find better energy in Divine Multiverse. Oh, yeah. Um, so, interesting, but n n not the best or not the worst. I mean, it's common, right? Like, <laughs> all yeah, these unless, we, unless we get something that specifically... Oh no, because even the Divine Multiverse cards uh, are two drops. I want to say, unless we find something that plays a specifically multicolored god with cost of two from your hand, but no. Yeah. And then just to round off today, we have Super Chevron Universal Revival. Take it away. Where we've seen it in the trailer, right? It's it's a very interesting specified cost of one red unison with Empower Red 6. Uh, that cannot attack because it's a Shenron card. 
<clears throat> and then activate main. If you have four or f uh, fewer cards in your hand, you draw one card for the plus one. And then minus seven on activate main. If your leader uh, card has universe in its special trait, you draw one card, then rejuvenate. Yeah. You know I mean, what? you heal. It's technically kind of maybe would work in the Grand Prix stack. It's not a good option, but it kind of does. <clears throat> no, it wouldn't, because you don't have a red unison. Yeah, you have this one. You, you just keep upticking the markets. Uh, it's no, it's not. Yeah, yeah. No, it's the, me not. the meme is not there. The meme is not there. So overall, a really cool day. I mean, Cooker Tail is like we're seeing it now that we've got the reduced SR count. We're seeing rares become more powerful, and I I do like that. I, I am a fan of powerful rares in the game. Like go back to set ten where we had um, what was it, Mass Saiyan? Uh, mm. And it was like a really good chase card. Then you had set 11 with the super combos. Super combos. So, like, I think I'm... that was the mistake putting super combos. Uh, I think that was the mistake putting super combos on the rest lot, though. Oh, yeah, just for accessibility. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Um, but still, I really like having the idea of powerful rares. Uh, our mo is interesting. Like, it's going to be such a fun time building this deck. There's going to be so many different ways you can build it. And like bringing in other um, multicolor cards, not you. Ca you can just go all angel tribal, obviously, but there are some really powerful blue green cards out there. There's some really powerful red yellow cards out there. Uh, granted, you need to have the gods like keyword, but like blue green has some amazing extra cards. I mean, we are still due five more cards at least for this archetype. Uh, yeah. So, how what universes have we got right now? We got one, two. Three, Three, four, four five, seven. Five. We haven't seen the champ of Vados yet. Well, sorry, it'll be Vados. We do haven't seen Vados. We haven't seen the. Uh, oh no! Wait, I don't remember the angels. <laughs> uh, so we have one through five. We haven't seen six. We have seen eleven and ten and seven. So, 12. so we are missing six, eight, nine, and twelve. Cool. So and... that should be tomorrow. Six, eight, nine, twelve. Yeah. And I f did we got what one? Yeah, universe one's a uh, Awama. We didn't got two. We only have seven uh, so far. Did, why did we did we not have two? Oh, we didn't have two. No. We didn't have two. No. So it's two, six, eight, nine, twelve. Cool. So lots more to come. Uh, and I'm, I am expecting Zeno to pop up here, but also if we don't see Zeno. It's probably that, a secret. That's probably a secret rare then. And also, it's kind of fitting of the god rare if Zeno gets an ult. Yeah. Like, um, the yes. secret leader card. No, god, no. <laughs> um, although it could be a unison. Although now we've seen the unison, I less think that's likely, which is good. Yeah, because you want to keep this unison as much as possible. Yeah, this, this so I think it's, it is going to be something, something that lets you play... You know what it's going to be. It's going to be like... Arcane Absorption Boo. Yeah, I could see that. Like that, like just makes you play a bunch of angels. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think that's a fair shout actually. Um. So yeah, guys, let us know which angel was your favorite from today. Let us know what you think of the Grand Priest overall. Are you excited to play it? I know a lot of people are. Um. Yesterday's video did super well, guys. So again, can you hit that like button? Can you leave a comment below and subscribe if you're new to Players Guild? And of course, we will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching and see you next time.